so there's been a lot of talk of uh, Islam in the last couple of days, and um, so I wanted to go into the book and see if uh, the people who have been attacking the religion are right about, well, look, if you're uh, an infidel, you should be killed, right? And you should, in fact, be killed for under many different circumstances. Now, you know, I left Islam, so this is fairly easy for me. Uh, this is part of the reason I left. So I went back and I found some texts that should really surprise you and shock you, maybe even, if you're not familiar with them, okay? And this is why Islam is so much worse than the other religions, because look at all the stuff that's in the Quran. And if you're going to be a good Muslim, you've got to follow the text of the Quran, okay? Listen to these words. He says, anyone arrogant enough, well, he, Allah, I guess, arrogant enough to reject the verdict of the judge or of the priest who represents the Lord your God must be put to death. Such evil must be purged. Okay? Of course, all these religions talk about the Lord. They are the three uh, religions of the book. Islam calls them people of the book, Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Uh, they say, you should not let a sorceress live. Mm. Well, if you find a sorceress, make sure you kill her, right? Or him. Uh, look at this. Uh, they also are against gays. You know, the Sam Harris, Bill Maher, etc., talking about this all the time. Muslims are so against gays, and if you're a real liberal, you would be against Islam because of statements like this. If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them shall be put to death for their abominable deed. They have forfeited their lives. Okay, God, this religion is so violent and nasty. All right, more, uh, different ways you can die. A man or a woman who acts as a medium or fortune teller shall be put to death by stoning. God, barbaric, these Muslims. They have no one but themselves to blame for their death. Don't blame me, don't blame ISIS, don't blame, blame you know, jihadists. Here's God saying, you got to be stoned to death. You didn't believe what we believe. If you don't believe what we believe, we're going to murder you. We're going to stone you to death. Islam disgusts me. I can't believe this stuff. Okay. More. Of course, there's 800 ways to die in the Quran, right? If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, both the man and the woman must be put to death. How many times have we had adultery in the United States? What, they'd kill half the country? Jesus, these Muslims. A priest's daughter who loses her honor by committing fornication and thereby dishonors her father also shall be burned to death. Have you ever seen people this barbaric? Okay. Whoever sacrifices to any god, remember, only sacrifice to your god, okay? Uh, they say, whoever sacrifices to any god except the Lord alone shall be doomed, of course. Uh, more. Uh, suppose you're here in one, of the, in one of the towns, the Lord your God is giving you that some worthless rabble among you have led their fellow citizens astray by encouraging them to worship foreign gods. In such cases, you must examine the facts carefully. Oh, well, that's good, that's positive. If you find it is true and can prove that such a detestable act has occurred among you, you must attack that town and completely destroy all its inhabitants as well as the livestock. I mean, how vicious are these Muslims? They're going to kill the poor cows. <laughs> what do the cows ever do to you? But you see, this is where it comes from, the Quran. That's why they want to invade these towns, ISIS does, and kill everybody inside. Ugh, disgusting. Okay. Now, how about your own family members? They wouldn't do that. Do they? They're not that bad, are they? If your own full brother, or your son, or daughter, or your beloved wife, or your intimate friend entices you secretly to serve other gods, whom you and your fathers have not known, gods of any other nations, near at hand or far away, from one end of the earth to the other, do not yield to him or listen to him, nor look with pity upon him, to spare or shield him, but kill him. That's your sons, your daughters, your brothers, kill them all. If they listen to a God from another nation, like perhaps America, kill them all. Okay, wow, these guys are definitely right. This is among the worst books I've ever read. This is a barbaric, detestable God. Okay, uh, one more? Yeah, sure. Cursed be he who does the Lord's work remissly, cursed he who holds back his sword from blood. If you hold your back, sword back from blood, if it's not drenched in blood at all times, well then you're not doing the Lord's work and uh, you should be cursed. Well, I think uh, we've rest our case here. Uh, Islam is uh, worse than any of the other religions. Uh, we should be talking about how Muslims always follow the Quran. This stuff is literally in the Quran, so obviously the Muslims are the worst.
Have you figured it out yet? It's not the Quran. Every single thing I just read to you is from the Bible. Oops. I'll quickly run through the different texts. The first one was Deuteronomy uh, 1712. Second one was Exodus 2217. Third one was Leviticus 2013. Then Leviticus 2027. Leviticus 2010. It's a lovely book, Leviticus. Uh, then 219. Exodus 22:19, Deuteronomy 13:13, Deuteronomy 13:13, 13:7, 13:7, and Jeremiah 48:10. Okay. Wow, that stuff's in the Bible. I guess the Christians are the worst religion. I guess all the Christians are guilty. Look, fundamentalist evangelical Protestants say every word in the Bible is literally the word of God and absolutely correct. That's 32% of Americans. Right, look, there's polls. Polls saying that Americans uh, believe in the Bible literally and the Bible says shred everyone to pieces. Who doesn't believe in your Lord and your God? Christians are the worst, I think we can agree. Or perhaps all the religions are ridiculous. They were written by barbaric people thousands of years ago, and by the way, most of this is in the Old Testament, and hence applies to Judaism as well in the first five books. That's basically your Torah. So, and yes, are there quotes like this in the Quran? Absolutely. All three books are based on ancient myths. And in the old days, what did they do? They slaughtered each other to pieces. Yeah, they'd go into a town and kill everybody and they'd kill the cows too. We shouldn't listen to that anymore. Is Islam worse than these two? Well, I mean, you just, how, how much worse could it be than killing your sons and your daughters and your brothers and everyone else that's living who dis, dares to disagree with your religion? Of course, it's in the application, right? But all three of these books have been applied disastrously throughout time and continue to be applied disastrously. The Christians believe, by the way, in the New Testament about revelations that tell us that Jesus is going to come back. By the way, the Muslims also believe Jesus is going to come back, not Muhammad, Jesus. Okay? They believe that Jesus is going to come back and kill almost everybody on the earth. And evangelical Christians, again, a third of our country, think that's awesome. They can't wait for it. They plan for it. They talk about how Jesus is going to vacuum up them into the sky, because it's in the book, it's in the book, it's in the book, right? And all the rest of us are going to be a bloodbath, probably the cows as well. And they can't wait for it. That's why they don't want peace in the Middle East. They want the Holy Land, Judea, Samaria, to be under the control of the Jews so that they can rebuild the temple so that everyone can die. <laughs> you tell me the Muslims are dangerous? I agree with you. Some radical Muslims are terribly dangerous. Some fundamentalist Christians actively planning towards Armageddon and influencing the largest military ever built by mankind, the US military, starting wars all over the Middle East, also very dangerous. And also Jewish settlers saying, nope, Judea and Samaria is mine. I don't ever want peace with the Palestinians. In the worst possible place on earth in terms of starting conflict. Turns out maybe all three are wrong. Put some thought behind it. And by the way, if you're ever unsure, please pick up a copy of your religious text and read it. Read the Bible, you won't stay Christian for long.